Hi, my name is Benny Parrish and I'm with the Cannons Marina. And today I'm going to show you how to change your water fuel separator. And the reason why we're going to show you how to do this is it's something that needs to be done more often than, than in the past. Every boat should have a water fuel separator on board. And the reason for that is to filter out debris that comes out of your fuel tank and to also help pick up water that may have condensated in the tank or been put in there through other means. Fuel water separators look like this. There's different sizes. We like to use the 10 micron Yamaha filter. It's a little larger, larger canister. And the reason for this is the larger surface area of the filter itself. These are two used filters and uh, you can see the kind of condition they're in. The larger filter also allows us to collect a little bit more water in the filter, hoping to get it changed out before it gets into the engine. If you're looking around in your boat and you find a fuel water separator that looks something like this one here, such as corrosion, you should have this replaced by your dealer. If your filter is in good shape, you should be able to change your water fuel separator yourself and I'm going to show you how to do that in a boat in a few minutes. When you do change your water fuel separator, one thing that you have with you is a glass jar. And the reason for this is once you've removed this from the boat, we want to pour the contents of this filter into the jar. When we get the contents into the jar, we want to look and see if there is any debris or water. As you can see in here, there's a brown uh, substance in the bottom of this fuel and that is water and debris. Fuel filters look like this. There's multiple styles and sizes. This is your typical Yamaha water fuel separator, 10 micron. You should find this in all your uh, recent model boats. Manufacturers use this style of filter if they're using a Yamaha engine. This is our smaller mini model, which gives we use on our smaller boats, smaller engine sizes. This is an aftermarket brand called Raycor. Now they make them in a large cylinder style and a smaller cylinder style. This also has a clear bowl in the bottom of it to be able to drain off water. These are good filters. There's nothing wrong with them. And depending on the type of filter you have in your boat will be the type that you'll replace it with. These filters are going to be located mostly in the back of the boats. And in a moment, we're going to go out to a boat and show you where they might be located. To replace these filters, you need a couple of tools. One is a fuel water separator filter wrench. Th this thing will fit around here and allow you to tighten or loosen the filter. Now we want to tighten these hand tight. We don't want to use a filter wrench to tighten these up. If you have a smaller filter, you'll have to purchase a smaller size wrench. The screwdriver, we may need to use this to disconnect the fuel line to be able to get filter water fuel back into our filter. This will be the biggest problem that we have today and that is filling this filter back up with fuel. So right now we're going to stop and we're going to go out to a boat and find the filter in it and see what we can do. Typically most fuel water separators are located in the stern area of your boat. They can be in a compartment on the port side or starboard side. They can be in the bilge areas. Sometimes you might need to speak to your local dealer to find out where yours is located. But as in this boat, it's located in the, the starboard compartment right down here. Now you can see that fuel water separator does have some discoloration on the top of the filter. That's going to be typical of salt water use. Generally speaking, it, that one's in good shape. We want to look at the surface below there and check test that, but that one's a good fuel water separator. We're going to go to another boat now and find it in that boat also before we show you how to replace one. Alright, now we're going to show you how to change a fuel water separator in your boat. This one happens to be on the port side in this aft compartment. You should start with at least some type of absorb rag or some type of small container to put underneath the filter because you will get some fuel leakage. Now this wrench works like this. You pull it this way, it tightens down on the filter and that will loosen. If you go this way, that would tighten. We're not going to tighten. We're going to loosen. So our filter is going to go onto the filter like this. We're going to push, we're going to pull it around and loosen it up and then remove the filter. It should be able to come on and off fairly easily if you're replacing them regularly. If you don't replace these regularly, 
they can be a real problem. So this one here shouldn't be an issue. We're going to pull this filter out, and as you can see, there's fuel here. Now over this absorb rag, I'm going to pour the contents of this into this jar to see what comes out. And as you can see, this is a fairly clean filter, no water, and no debris. So that's what we want to see in a filter. If we're replacing these regularly, that's probably what we will see. Now, the key issue to getting this back together is you've got to put a new fuel fill, water filter, uh, fuel water separator in the boat. This would be empty at this moment. To get fuel into this, you can either pour fuel from a clean container into the filter up to a level about like this and then reinstall it. It's probably the easiest thing to do. That way the motor will pick up the prime and pump fuel through it. If you don't and you install this like this empty, when you go to run the boat the next time, if you don't squeeze that primer bulb until fuel comes through this filter, your engine's going to shut down pretty quickly. That is not a good thing. Once you pull away from the dock, your motor, motor shuts down, it's not running. So you should make sure your filters are full of fuel after you've replaced this and make sure the motor's running and ready to go before you put yourself off, uh, push yourself off the dock. So now I'm going to take this filter, I'm going to replace it with a new one and put it in the, fil in the compartment. So, All right, so we're going to put a new fuel water separator in here. We're going to slide it up under here. Now I did not fill this one with fuel, so I'm going to show you a different way to do it. It's a little more trouble, but it works. And now, if you're able to go ahead and fill it with fuel, I'd recommend that. Now once you get this thing all the way up nice and snug, by hand, you might take a rag and just grab it one more time and make sure it's good and snug. Because if you don't get it tight, it's going to suck air. And if you tighten up too much, it's going to be a problem the next time you go to get it off. So that's how you change the water fuel separator. Now, that one doesn't have water uh, fuel in it. So if I'd have put fuel in it, I'd have been in a pretty good shape. I could have just come back over to my primer bulb and primed this up and got it going. But since I didn't, I'm going to do it a different way. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the fuel line on the air, uh, motor side of the fuel primer bulb. This can be quite easily done in some boats and in other boats quite a problem. So you decide how you want to do it. Putting fuel in it is probably as good as any. Now I might have to get a little fuel out of here because it's going to leak. Get that absorbed. And I could have, before I go to do this, I'm going to go ahead and prime this a couple of times and fill the engine and then drain what I got in here off. We have a lot of fuel in that fuel hose from that filter. Okay, now what's going to happen is I'm going to try to pull fuel up from the tank into that filter. And the way I'm going to do this is by squeezing the primer bulb, putting my finger on top of the primer bulb, letting go of it. I'm going to continue to do this. And I'm doing it with the arrow in a pointed up position. So what's going to happen is this is going to allow me to pull fuel from the tank through the filter easier. You got to feel it and listen because you'll you should be able to hear it coming out of the tank. Now we we should be pretty good. I'm going to stick that fuel line back on there, and I should be good to go. Now I can start my engine. Feel the primer bulb while it's running until it's nice and firm and we're ready to go. Always make sure you reattach your, your clamps on your hoses. So that's how you change your water fuel separator. So good luck and good boating.